everybody, it's Anna, aka Makeup by A. Marie, and a lot of people have been requesting eyebrow tutorials, so that's what I'm gonna do for you guys today. I actually just recorded one, but I hated the way it came out, so I'm gonna redo it. Um, let me first start by just picking my hair up so it's not in my way. I hate the way I look with my hair up, but it's, you know, life is full of sacrifices. Okay, so let's get started. Now, I just pulled everything I need, and I'm just going to show you a rundown of the products for, that I use for my eyebrows day to day. Um, the first brush that I use is Anastasia. I don't know the actual number or name because it's worn out, but it's just a duo and angled brush. And there's the spoolie. I like this brush because it's really precise, great quality, and it has both of the things you need. So second thing you need is MAC Studio Finish Concealer or just your favorite concealer of your choice. And I like to use Anastasia's Dip Brow Pomade. I'm using the color Dark Brown to fill in my brows. You can also use a powder or whatever your favorite tool to fill in with is. Mine personally is Dip Brow. And then the second brush that I use is a E15 Flat Definer Brush by Sigma brushes and then later some more products but they're optional so I'll bring them in later okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is start by just brushing my eyebrows into place please ignore that little pimple that I have there cool so I'm brushing my brows into place and now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and dip into my dip brow so very important you always want to keep it closed you don't want to keep it open for long periods of time or your product is going to dry out and then you're either going to have to manipulate it to fix it or go out and buy a new one and i'm sure you don't want to do either so what i like to do is put a little bit of the product into the cap and then put this face down on a surface like that so no air is drying it out in the meantime so I already have some products in here and I'm just going to go ahead and dip my brush into it. Get a small amount. Now if you notice when I'm doing that, I'm kind of flattening the brush so that there's no stray bristles. I want it to be all even and tapered. And then I'm going to go in and line that bottom of my brow. So I'm going to use my natural brow shape as a guide to draw that line. So I'm going to start by like the middle of my eyebrow right here because I don't want the front to be too, too dark. I want an ombre effect because that makes it look the most natural. So you want to anchor your pinky onto your face so that when you're drawing the line, you're not shaking so much and messing it up. So I'm just going to start by lining that. just like that. I feel like when you tilt your head back, it's easier to kind of see where you should draw that line. Now what I'm gonna do is just go in, grab a little bit more product. Mind you, when I'm putting product on my brush, I'm using very little at a time because I don't want two crazy dark eyebrows. And then I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna do that the same on the top. And then notice as I'm doing it, I'm doing it in small strokes until I have one long line. And then I'm going to go in the middle and then lightly fill in, just like that. And then what I'm going to do is just use the excess product that is on my brush to fill in the front. You don't want to add any more product because you don't want it to uh, look too harsh. So you're going to use whatever is just left over to fill in the front. So what I like to do is just do a small line on the top and a little line on the bottom to fill it in. Then finally just brush upwards to eliminate those harsh lines and then down to the side. And then when I go to the tail of my brush, I don't want to brush too, too much because I don't want to eliminate all the hard work I just did. And I'm going to add a little bit more right here. Also, let's say you make a mistake, it's not a big deal because we're going to fix that later with concealer. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the other brow.
so there you have it. The brows, the shape is coming in. This brow is kind of bothering me a little bit, but honestly, it's fine because I'm going to show you how to fix it. Now, immediately, I'm going to put my zip brow away. Another reason I really love this product is because a little bit goes a long way. So I promise you, once you buy it, you're going to have it like forever. And now I'm going to take my Studio Finish Concealer and my flat definer brush. So we're going to highlight the eyebrows and kind of manicure them so that they look spotless, super crisp, and nice. Now, this is a palette because I'm a makeup artist, I do makeup, so I get the palette, but you could buy your own specific shade individually. My shade, I think that I use, is NC15. So I'm just going to dip into it really lightly. You don't want to put too, too much at a time, you see? And then go ahead and line that brow. So line the bottom the same way when you filled it in, just right underneath. Also, this is such a great step in case your eyebrows aren't filled in. It's going to help um, hide those hairs that aren't tweezed. Now, to blend it, you want to go to the top of it, right where it meets the brow, press down, and then drag it to blend. So, top, press, drag, top, press, drag. Just like that. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to go in with our finger and blend it. I'm also going to do it right there and on the top half. Just like that. And now what I'm going to do is just blend that and then go in with my finger and blend the top. Now let's say you put a little too much product, what you could do is drag your finger. Dragging it is gonna remove product, you can wipe it off of your finger and then start dabbing. So what I'm gonna do is just drag it a little bit, wipe it off, and then just go in and dab to blend it. And like I said in my other video, dabbing helps make the product penetrate into your skin instead of just being on the surface of your skin just like that so you want to basically eliminate any lines so that you can't see where the concealer starts or finishes now compare it to this eyebrow it looks a lot more highlighted and a lot cleaner I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other brow Just like that. Now let's say you want to fix your eyebrows so that they look more similar. Um, you could go ahead, pick up your angled brush and spoolie and just manipulate them some more. So I actually like the way they look. I just want to make this point here a little sharper. So I'm going to do that just by extending it slightly. Just like so. And then to just finalize the look, take your spoolie and blend everything out. So any harsh lines we missed are gone. So that's basically your basic eyebrow tutorial. If you want to take your eyebrows to the next level, I'm going to show you what to do. If not, you do not have to continue watching. First thing we're going to do, take a pencil brush just like this. And you can dip it into your favorite highlighter shadow, your favorite highlight, whatever. My personal favorite for eyeshadow, it's the bomb. I highly recommend it. Once you get it, you'll fall in love with it. It's Nylon by MAC. Nylon eyeshadow. So you're just going to take it, dip into it with your pencil brush, tap out the extra, and highlight that brow bone. So you see how it just highlights it, and I'm going to go and do it to the other one. Just pack on that color and drag it in back and forth motions to really blend it all together. And 
I like to shine bright like a diamond, so I'm just going to go ahead and layer it because enough highlight is just still not enough for me. I would literally put glitter on my face if, I, if it was socially acceptable, but you know, I just can't do that. I think I might one day. But there you have it. That's how you get a super nice highlight. And just so it doesn't look like one super bright light bulb on your face, next thing you're going to do is take a blending brush. Um, the one I'm going to use is an E35. It's a tapered blending brush by Sigma Brushes. And I'm going to dip into, you could either use your favorite transition color, eyeshadow, or whatever you use to contour, any bronzer. So what I'm using right now is Matte Bronze by MAC Cosmetics. So I'm just going to dip my blending brush into it, tap off the extra, and just sweep it back and forth into my crease. It's going to help define my eye shape and just give it a natural look to enhance the way my eyebrows look. So back and forth into my crease, and it's also going to blend that highlight that I just put under my brow bone. Just like that, so it just gives you a little bit more definition.